Goofy Doesn't Like It is a brilliant episode of Mickey Mouse Funhouse for several reasons. This is the second segment in the seventh episode of the second season. And this one actually takes place in Korea. And I could be wrong, but I think this is the first time that Funny has taken the gang to a different country. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I remember, this is the first time they've gone through the Funhouse doors and actually went to a different country, which I thought was pretty cool. And they're actually in Korea for the Lunar New Year. And we get to have a look at this Korean folk village, which is a glimpse into the past of Korean history. And there's some Korean language, and that's something that I think is always great. Getting children interested in a foreign language, whichever language that may be, is always a really positive thing. And we get to find out about these different Lunar New Year traditions, which includes rice cake soup. And everybody's really excited about this and they're trying this soup except Goofy, as the title suggests. And he calls it Icky, which is very offensive. Uh, you don't go to somebody's country and call their food Icky to their face. But he doesn't want to try it. And actually, they, they try a fantastic thing where they actually show Goofy how it's made. And they make it together, they make it an activity to give Goofy a better understanding of the ingredients that are in it and what the food is that he would be eating. I think that's a fantastic tactic. And children will often not eat eat something, adults as well, often not eat something if they don't really understand what it is or what the ingredients are. Getting them involved in the making process helps them to feel part of it and there's a sense of accomplishment. And they're more likely to want to eat something they've made with their own hands doesn't necessarily work with Goofy. But then the tables are turned and somebody calls something he's eating icky. You can probably guess what he's eating. And he realises then that not only did what he say was hurtful, but actually, as he said, how do you know you don't like it unless you try it? Which I think is something that has been said to every single one of us at some point in our life. And it's so true. How do you know unless you try it? And it's all about encouraging Goofy that it's okay to taste it. If you taste it and don't like it, then fair enough. But you can't really say something's icky without even trying it. Obviously, definitely is something that can help younger viewers because food issues with children not eating what's in front of them is something that you know frustrates parents up and down the country all over the world. And if you can encourage any of them to eat something that they think is icky, then that's a really good thing. And then on top of that, of course, you have this look at Korean culture and Korean history and the traditions of Korean New Year. So it's an all round, really solid episode, educational, informative, inspiring, and could definitely help children eat things that are on their plate. Definitely a credit to the series.